Welcome back, you guys, to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield. Welcome back, you guys. All right, we're almost to Oscar Ruth. I kind of want you to be able to see the beauty of the game a little bit here, because it's just it's really cool. So we're on a riding. There's the place where we killed the orc, half orc Lita and defeated. And there's uh, Amon Sul we're leaving behind us. So we're on an automatic running horse right now, and we're headed to Oscar Ruth at this time. I believe we will use our. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use for this round our horn. We'll use that for this this episode. But anyway, I will try to let you enjoy the scenery for the next like 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Enjoy. Get horse sick on me. Car sick. <laughs> Here we are, guys. The hidden old fortress of Ostgaruth. The main home of the Egglane. There is a dwarf here to greet us, the stable master. Make sure you always click on the stable master when he has his, like, it's kind of glowing. Gotta click him. Now, see, Greetings! I now I know it. Alright. Greetings, Uni. Why don't we just uh, take off our helmet here? We're a little less scary looking. Yeah! Alright, let's go ahead and get inside here. Gotta go talk to some people and look inside. Let's pop inside my guy's head so we can... Ost Gorof. There's a... Look at that view. Isn't that awesome? I don't know, I just think it's a really awesome view. You can see a little lake down here, too, in the bottom, right by my picture. Kind of cool. There's another view. It's almost like a savanna, this side of the, the Lone Lands. The way the trees look and stuff. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get to our voiceovers and some quests. Welcome, everyone, to Ost Guruth. It actually is rather impressive looking, even though it's destroyed ruins still. I love that wind sound. I know I've said it countless times already in my series, but the sound effects and the music in this game are just awesome. Just awesome. Chance Thomas did the music. I'm not actually sure who did sound effects. I should look that up. I'm sure it was several people, probably, but they did a really good job. Probably a team. It's Frederick the Elder. Hello, sir. Greetings. Greetings. Hail to you, Zalin. I am Frederick, the elder of the Egglane. I know of your deeds. We are ready, already in your debt. You have done much to assist the people of the Egglane. And I thank you, I thank you for your services. Of efforts. As Gadderick and um, Hunuf explained, the passage of the Black Riders out of the west brought a shadow to our home. Orcs came from the south, careful not to cross paths with the orcs from the north and their dwarf allies. The half-orcs have long been a threat, as well as the spiders, but the wargs and craven all came with the orcs and goblins. Worse still, a kind of troll, J Jorth, um, Jorthkai, or Earthkin. Hmm, what are Earthkin, guys? We'll see. They they call themselves, sought refuge from the Trollshaws over the last bridge. They are not violent, but they have trailed, trained, um, they have trained, uh, oh my goodness. Trailed evil with them. There is also another matter. But I will not yet speak of that to you. In time, perhaps, you will learn of this greatest danger to the Eglane. Alright. Oh, look at we got a book quest, guys. Would you do something for me? Would you 
do something for me? I have received a message from a man. Perhaps you know of him. He is a ranger by the name of Candace. Oh, yes, yes, we do, we do. Ha <laughs> ha, I've heard the name. The details are vague, but it seems of great importance that you talk to him. I believe it concerns the enemy's movements in the North Downs. He is staying at a camp northwest of Weathertop. Travel west to the Forsaken Inn, then go north until you reach his campsite. Okay, so this is for level 30. So we're going to do all Guru Theory and stuff, and then we'll continue the book quest when we're almost 30. Go talk to him, and then we're going to go to the North Downs, you guys. We are going to go there with the books. Yes, yes. It's a cool place. I'm going to show you guys that area. All right, what else we got for me here, Mr. Frederick? Might I take a moment of your Mr. time? Mr. Frederickson? No, no, just different, different. Okay, you might catch that joke. Might I take a moment of your time? If, Zolin, if you are to assist us, then you must know what has transpired thus far. Hana, a girl within our encampment, visited the swamp to the north and east. She discovered an ancient relic lying out upon one of the ruins. We must collect that which the ruins ruins offer, as you know, and she thought nothing of consequence, as we have never seen a reprisal. reprisal. Well, on this day, there was, some, was something different in the swamp. Something stirred and frightened the girl so that she now has fits in her sleep. I fear for her, friend. Will you find Hana and speak with her to discover what visions plague her dreams? Yes, we will help her out. We're a dwarf. We will absolutely help anyone in need, no matter who they are. Would you do something for me? Would you do something for me? There's a place where you can find shelter for the night. The innkeeper is an old man now, and the locals are a stern and mor moros lot. Ooh, there's, there's your word for the day, guys. Look up in the dictionary. A moros, a moros lot? Yeah. But the beds are warm and the wine is cold. Travel west along the east road at, that brought you here. The first thing I get in is by the road. I know a man called Kandak who might be found at the end. If you happen to go there, bid him greetings from Frederick. Yep. Frederick. Frederick. Yeah. I'm having troubles with names. <clears throat> Could I speak hey. with you a moment? Could I speak with you a moment? There is a place you should know of. A place full of great corruption and grave danger. It is called Ag... Ag... Marur. Ag... Marur. The Red Swamp. Agamarur. Agamarur? Mm. Agamar. I think it's like Agamar? It's not Agmar, because that's another place. Agamara. The Red Swamp. The water of this place is red as blood. Blood which leaks from a wound called Goth Agarwen. Gosh, man, these words. Argwen. Yet, there are those who have dared the heart of Agarmor. Perhaps you will be able to aid them. Some of my kindred, the Eglane, have encampment, encamped in the midst of the darkness, and midst of the darkness, and I would bid you go to their aid. Speak with e Ariak the Strong, and I am sure you will find he can make sure of your strength. Agmaru, I think it's Agmaru, uh, is east of here, and north. Find the Red Pass in the Haragmar Swamp, Haragmar Swamp, and you shall find your way to Agmaru. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm sorry I'm butchering the names, but we will do our best. Just losing a little bit of concentration. Okay, so we're going to make this our new home, find our thing here. We'll be here a little bit. Alrighty, we're gonna run in circles until I find out where to go. Alright, so we have some people to talk to over here. Oh, look at it. There's like a little. See, they've got a little whole encampment here where they like trade and barter. We shall re ever remember you, Zolin. What? Gester Quicksilver. Oh! Is that the other guy over here? 
that I was helping. Well, we'll go back and help them more. And not a real people. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? They with Walt's face um, contorts briefly in, in a look of anguish showing for his face. <clears throat> Before he fights back the pain issues a smile hello <laughs> this this is my wife I gave it to her before we came to live in the Englade it was lost when she was struck down at Nierost you have given me something that I cannot truly repay but I will give you something of import of import to me in an effort to repay you Oh, wow, he's going to give me a shield. That's awesome. I wish we could use shields. So we found that when we killed the orc boss, I believe, or something. We basically found something of his wife. So that's how he was, like, in pain. I, would, I should have realized they were explaining that I wouldn't have read it in his voice. But, yeah, I'll work on that. I'll work on that. Would you do something for me? W would you do something for me? Always we struggle to survive. We have done well in all the years I have dwelt in Osgruth, but this is something the like of which I have not seen before, I have not seen before, with the elders working to defend against the evil in Agamaru, it falls to the rest of us to see to the other defenses. This, my friend, is where I come to you. Our numbers are few, and those are capable of wielding a weapon are best kept close to Oscaruth. You, however, are able to walk freely through the lands and assist us in the ways in which we cannot help ourselves. In the west, beneath the shadow of Amon Ross, lie the great, great nests of the venomous spiders among the ruins. Some are more potent than others. And now we have ways passed down through the ages of distilling the venom of the lesser spiders and making a medicine which helps to cure poison. If the venom is too potent, it cannot be distilled. I need you to collect the poison uh, sacks from the ruined web hunters and ambushers and bring them to me. It's a little bit distressed. Oh wow, we need lots of spider quests. Would you do something for me? Would you do something for me? No doubt you've been uh, spidely crawlers weaving their webs and trapping their prey, which happens to be anything that has life within its veins. Crawling monstrously is what they are. Nothing good comes from them, and I have seen too many fall prey to their hidden nests. These foul vermin do not deserve the life they take so freely. Bring my vengeance upon them. Of course, we shall help you with that. Might I take a moment of your time? Might I take a moment of your time? All that you have done for the Englade prove, proves you are honor. Honor. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Englade proves your honor. Honorary. Oh well. I shall not doubt your intentions again, but I shall ask a favor of you. I am sure that you have seen the ver varieties of the ver variety of the spiders throughout the Lone Lands. Ver variety, I think it is actually. Well, you may not know of the elders that lead this vile uh, elders that lead this vile brood. It is they who are to be feared the most. I ask now that you go to Amon Ross and slay the elders. They have lived far too long, preying upon the helpless, and must be destroyed. Stay a moment. Stay a moment. By, by my word, know that my wife and son fell to the brood to the west. But they were not the only ones to fall to the spiders in the Vale. The Englade have lost so many through the years. Other families have lost siblings and loved ones to the spiders, and more recently to the wargs stalking the wild. I have a request for you, which may prove fruitless, yet I hope it shall yield solace for many. In Amon Ross, where the spiders dwell, you likely saw many a sacks of eggs. These sacks will bring more evil into the world, and the grief will continue. Will you go and destroy the eggs before they hatch? The spider's numbers grow each day, while the good folk of Oscaruth dwindle. 
Absolutely. Zol and Iron Shield will do this for you. Thank you, thank you. Of course, of course. Alright, we got two more quests to pick up over here. Oh, here's here's Hana, the young. Apparently she's young. I mean, she does look younger than a lot of the other people here. Hail! I'm Zol and Iron Shield. I don't know anything, I'm sure. I don't know anything, I'm sure. Did Frederick send you? He worries too much now that my sister is always away. Even I, even since I took the statue of the lady, they have treated me differently. Even the visitors, a visitor in brown robes treated me differently. They fuss about saying that they must protect me. I do not know how they can protect me from my dreams. It is true, I am frightened. Come the morning, I hear the swamp calling me at night. The woman makes the nerbig in the swamp sing to me. She is trying to bring me to her, and that is why my sister left, to find her and stop her. She is a bad person. I know she means me harm because her songs, songs sing of blood and death. It is the Nergbir. They sing for her. I don't tell anyone, but I can hear the Nergbir singing my name even now. Could I have a word That's with you? That's scary. A little bit scary. Could I have a word with you? We came upon the maiden in the waters north beyond the wall. She was draped in vines. Mm. Draped in vines and tattered robes and smiled beautifully before she cringed and shook the water apart and drove us from the swamp. She con cornered me, though for only a moment, before my sister found me, but I saw the hatred in her eyes. She means me harm and sends the Nurgbury to call me to her. Will you help me? Can you help me? The Nurgburg are in the east, in the blood mire, rubbing their legs and singing their song she sang to me, calling for me to come. Please help me. Bring me their legs so that I know they will no longer sing my name. Ah, uh, we will help you, young lady. I, I think she's crazy, guys. I think she's going crazy. I mean, I don't blame her. She probably hasn't slept in days. I don't know if you can help me. I don't know if... <clears throat> Let's see if I do that again. <clears throat> Let's hear that one more time. Could I have a word with you? <laughs> Could I have a word with you? Greetings, traveler. I have a favor to ask of you, if you will. Listen, we are short on supplies, as always, and we rarely in measure some measure on deliveries of food from the Forsaken Inn. If your travels bring you back westward, could you speak with Enlof in the Forsaken Inn about arranging a delivery of oatmeal to be sent to Osgroof? It would be a great help to us, Zolin. Of course, of course. We'd be glad to help. <laughs> oh dear, did you need something? Oh dear, did you need something? Uh, no, but uh, will you buy this stuff? Do you have some money? Sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go, repair some of my gear. So we can go in here, guys. Let's go, what's in here? Let's find out. Let's look up. Oh, look at this. Oh, the lower tower. Oh, look at this. Oh, I like that music. Let's just amp that up a little. Look at all the books. Whoa, who's this? Hello? Radagast the Brown. By the way, in this series, um, like in the books, Radagast is more—he's not quite as silly as he was in the Hobbit movies. Like he was—I liked him in the Hobbit movies, but like he was kind of silly. Like he's more of a like, more of a Gandalf, like helping everyone, more conscientious kind of character in the actual books and like the Lord of the Rings series. Just you know. Why come you here? Why come you here? The Englade. I want to hear his voice one more time. Why come you here? Why, Why come, come you here? here? The Englade let you in, did they? I have been expecting you, though sooner rather than later. You have, in fact, taken your time. I understand you found something upon Weathertop. This rubbing, I do believe it is a, is a G rune. 
a mark uh, um, oft used by often used by Gandalf the Grey, another of my order. I guessed from the descriptions of uh, those three lines that he was at Amensul on October the third, not but a few days past. I, too, saw the lightning upon Weathertop, and fear that Gandalf found trouble there. I have not seen him since we parted at Sarnford, so I can tell you no more of him or his travels. Of this place, I can tell you much, but make reason of reason very little. Will you help me? Will you help me? I believe it's the same actor as the actual Gandalf voice in the series. Will you help me? Will you help me? The lad, no, he's, he's got a little, I'm going to change it a little bit, the voice. Because he can't sound like just a Gandalf. Will, will you, you help, help me? me? The land, will you help me? The land itself is turning against us. And I know that the reason why. Even, maybe we'll put a little bit of the, the, the one from the movie. A little bit of the feel. How's that? You know, like a little bit of the... He's like a little paranoid, kind of. Will, Will you, you help, help me? me? The land itself is turning against us, and I know not the reason why. Even the shepherds are twisted, shadows of their former selves. I speak of the bog prowlers, those that tend through the trees. Bog prowlers are really tall, stick-like. They almost look like... You'll see them later. You'll, you'll see them. They're kind of like another caretaker of the forest, like an ant. Just a smaller... If I can concern what is the twisting of the shepherds, I may be able to determine what is fouling the land. Bring me the moss that they use to line their nests. They roam the swamp to the east of here. Remember, I do not wish harm to uh, the shepherds. No matter how confused they appear, they are innocent victims of the corruption, and I know not the harm they do. Yes, he does like his animals. You have returned, I see. You have returned, I see. Act with all due haste, and return the bark must to me. We will, we will. Absolutely, we're on our way. Do, do, do. All right, guys. So we got to do a lot of things. We have to kill some spiders, slay a lot of spiders. I got to get these Norbog legs, which are like a creature. Like they're, I think they're, I think they're a bug. They're almost like a giant cricket. But they're like swampy. This is like think of a mix of a cricket and a uh what is that other creature called? I'm trying to think. Um a vinegaroon? You guys know what those are? They're called different things in different places, but they're like really creepy looking giant ants, really gross looking. So it's like a cross between a cricket and that. They're pretty freaky, and they're also about, you know, two and a half feet tall. You know, bigger than a cat. Big cat. Um, anyway, so I gotta get those, and then I'm gonna get the moss out of their things over here, and I'll give you a quick glimpse of where I'm gonna go. So the spiders are on that side, and then I want to show you the swamp over here. We get all this bush. I'm stuck in a bush. Ooh, that's a pretty little fountain, isn't it? Beautiful. Okay. You must be the last to have found us. Yes, yes. All right, now entering Harag. Haragmar. So it's almost like a swamp, but like evil red. And then there's a valley that goes right there. There's a crevice valley. And it goes into this whole area. And that's Aragmaru. And Garoth. Argarwin. Gwen. Oh, I said it right. The Red Pass. And this is Agmar. Or Agmar. Maur. Whatever. Anyway. So I'm going to collect all these things in this area. Um, it's going to take a lot of time. I want to show you guys the swamp areas and stuff and like so you can visually see it. But it, it's just going to be killing a lot of things. It's going to take me like 40 minutes probably to do all these quests. So we're going to just go ahead and end the episode here, my friends. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Dylan Iron Shield. Here we go. Here's one of those Nogborgs. I mean, Norbogs. See? See? Like a cricket thing. Pretty freaky, huh? Yeah, pretty freaky. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. So those are those. And then let me show you a... Do they have any of the big bog lurkers? Well, they're, they're, there's their nests. 
Oh. A vile fever marks. There's a zombie over there, guys. Uh, there's something else happening here. Why the water is so red and creepy. Here's the nests. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to do these quests and then uh, pop back in if there's anything for the next episode. So until then, my friends, thank you for joining me on Voice of the Rings, and I will see you on the next episode of A Lotro Tale. Have a good day.